welcome to the math review. In this lesson, we're talking about what zero pairs are. And then after finding out what zero pairs are, we're going to use those zero pairs in order to add some integers. So what exactly are zero pairs? Well, zero pairs are when you have a positive value and a negative value that cancel out when added to make zero. And when showing or teaching zero pairs, teachers mostly use these things called counters. So you might have a green counter that represents a positive value. So every time you have a green ship, it represents positive one. And you'll probably see a red counter. And every time you see a red counter, it represents a negative value. And whenever you have a green ship and a red ship, or a positive and a negative, they cancel each other out. So for every green ship, you'll cross off a red ship. And what this represents is the canceling when you're adding a positive and a negative to make zero. If we're using actual numbers, that would be positive one plus negative one, and the result, as we saw before, will equal zero. So let's take a look at a few examples. Here we have positive five plus negative five. Positive five would be represented by five green counter chips. And negative five would be represented by five red counter chips. So every time you see a green, you have to cross off a red. So this green and this red will cancel. 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 And finally, this green and this red will also cancel. And since we don't have any chips remaining or any chips left over, it means we have zero. So positive five plus negative five equals zero. Here we've got positive three plus negative seven. Positive three will be shown using three green counters. And negative seven will be shown using seven red counters. And when using zero pairs, every time we see a green, we have to cross off a red. So we'll cross off a green and red here, a green and red here, and a green and red here. What we're left with are one, two, three, four red chips. So that means positive three plus negative seven equals negative four, which is shown because we have four red chips remaining. And here's our last example. Here we've got positive eight plus negative two. Positive eight will be shown using eight green counters. And negative two will be shown using two red counters. And when using zero pairs, for every green we see, we've got to cross off a red. So we can cancel this green with this red, and this green with this red, leaving us with one, two, three, four, five, six green counters. So that means our final answer to eight plus negative two equals positive six. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Math Review.